Let's start with our Packers correspondent. What do you expect in this game, Blake, and how do you see it from Green Bay's perspective? All right, so when I look at it from Green Bay's perspective, and I'm going to use some hindsight and look at – uh, 2019. So in both of those games, the Niners pass rush was just like absolutely, it was killer for the Packers offense, mainly like, I don't know, for me, Rogers holds on to the ball a while and likes to get through his progressions. But if you're getting pressure with four dudes like the Niners do, then it's kind of a problem, especially if Bulag is out and Alex lights in there. I know we talked about this earlier, but like the first game, they would just throw Bose on Alex Light and he would just kill him every time in like half a second. Or there would be the times where, you know, like Buckner or someone else would get through. Um, and that happened in the final game too where Rodgers was just pressured so much. So looking at this year, when I look at the D, D lines and the front seven comparatively uh, for the Niners, it's not as strong as it was. I, It's as scary as it could be. Uh, mainly because of Bosa. And then, you know, Buckner's gone too. Kinlaw's good, but I, I don't think he's what Buckner is as a pass rusher. Um, like their leading That's sack. safe to say. Yeah. They're, the person who has the most sex is that uh, Kerry Ryder. Kerry Ryder right? Jr. Yeah. Kerry like, Ryder. Yeah. 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 So yeah. I don't think I don't think their pass rush is going to be as good. And, I, you know, they still have injuries throughout the secondary. Um is Sherman going to play or no? Is like is he back yet? No, he's yeah. Yes, yeah, so like I D Ford going to play. I, yeah. I think the Packers offense will do better defense wise. Mike Patton, oh my gosh! I mean, did you guys see the what Dalvin Cook's stat line was? Four touchdowns and over two hundred yards. I mean, Niners from the had him here, it's like the defense somehow regressed. Um, I mean, they didn't draft anyone. They they retained like all the same players, but. The, Mike Patton's base defense, he runs nickel. So he's got two linebackers, five five like defensive backs, and they use Raven Green, who's a safety, and they put him in at like the linebacker role. So he's like the inside linebacker. Um, and then they have four D linemen. And this is great when you're playing a team that's passing all the time, right? Because you have that extra D back. When you're playing a team that's running the ball constantly, yeah, you're going to get killed when they get to the second level and you have a – you know, you have a strong safety getting blocked by a fullback or a lineman. Mm -hmm. So I think they're going to run um, run well as per usual. I mean, Moster went crazy last year. Um, the linebackers, they have a couple of rookies, um, Kamal Martin and then Barnes, mm -hmm. who are late-round picks. But they've been – they've had some good flashes. So I hope they can do well. But what I want to see out of Petten in the defense is I want to see them adjust. And I just want them to say, all right, Jimmy – just please beat us. Like, we're not going to let you run on us. That is like, even if they, you know, let Jimmy go off, like just don't get beat by the same thing over and over and over. Cause that's how they lose. They just get ran all over. Um, you know, in the Tampa Bay game too, like Ronald Jones was averaging like five or six yards of carry. They would just send him up the middle and you just get to the right. second level easily. So I really hope they can adjust and not like just let the Niners run all over them. But, I don't know. Mike Patton doesn't always adjust, and we'll see. Boy, that was a pretty defeated uh, analysis right there. Vish, what do you see in this matchup? Okay, so uh, I was I was talking to my buddy, like, Blake, like maybe two, three days ago, before that Seattle game, and I was like, there's absolutely no way that the Niners are going to lose to the Packers. And it, it was real simple to me. The Packers don't have big people. And if you don't have big people inside, you can put 10 people in the box and the Niners are still going to run the football. That's what happened in New England. You need yeah. size inside. Like Seattle, for all their shortcomings, they play that Seattle scheme, which is an eight-man front, right? So it's a really sound front to begin with. And Jaron Reed and Puna Ford are huge. They're really They're good. big people. They're hard to yeah. move. Kansas City had success against this run game because they had a lot of size inside. You need size, and the yeah. Packers just don't have any size. Not to mention, you also would like to have two linebackers like Bobby Wagner and K.J. Wright who can fly around and hit, and the Packers don't have that either. So I thought there was no chance for Green Bay. But now the way I see it is that they still got a shot because if you're telling me that the run game is going to be Jarek McKinnon and Jamichael Hasty, no Debo Samuel, no George Kittle, and I think Kyle Shanahan might be able to put up the offensive performance he put up with C.J. Beathard and Marquise Goodwin in Lambeau that one Monday night. But 
I'm not sure how this defense will do. Like Rodgers still has zero weapons. I still think that if you can hit Aaron Rodgers and hit him early, I don't think, I think he's okay with letting the game go and getting back to next week. And it's because he's a guy who wants to play till he's 40, 41, 42. And he's had injuries, unlike the other superstar quarterbacks that are doing it. So I think that True. He, does, True. he does his life flash, his career flash before him a little bit where he's willing to protect himself because he knows that his health is the best long-term interest for him and the Packers. And he won't get blamed. I don't know how, how the, the local media is in Green Bay, but I'm guessing they're probably pretty partial to Aaron Rodgers. Right. Yeah, for the most yeah. part, yeah. So that I, I, I think all those things are there, but – I don't know if the Niners will just be ready to play. Like this matchup is just sitting there. It's it's served up on a platter. The Packers haven't improved in any sort of way. And yeah, Jair Alexander is a superstar corner. But guess what? Kyle Shanahan will just avoid Jair Alexander and find 15 different ways to throw the football and pick up 10 Zimmer did. It's exactly what Mike yeah. Zimmer, like Zimmer just – he didn't even – I mean, Kirk Cousins threw, what, 14 times? Right. They can't – you can't just like – I mean, you you remember last year's game against the Niners in the NFC Championship? Jimmy Gr- Garoppolo threw what eight eight or nine passes? You great, yeah. How do you eight. let that happen? Just like put like I don't yeah. know what you do. Put like eight All people four right? shovel passes and just say that he did. Yeah, it. like they yeah. caught they those screens and just like like no. you know short routes like that. Too. Wish and I feel that 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 was the end of Jimmy in San Francisco. That he's never really recovered from that. That was it. <laughs> he didn't recover from the post game reaction to that. Yeah, it's just Harry it's, Bradshaw, it's, man, dude. That's humiliating. That's it's embarrassing. Yeah, it's humiliating. That, that loss yesterday was embarrassing. That throwing eight passes in the NFC Championship game was humiliating. It's humiliating. Yeah. But because it, it shows what your own coach thinks of you. It, you know what I mean? It's it's it was a decision by Kyle Shanahan. It's uh and it's in his face, you know. Do you think it was more of a knock against Jimmy and saying, Hey, we don't really want to put the ball in your hands? Or is it more of saying, Hey, we can just sit back and hand the ball to Moster, and he's getting seven yards every time. Sometimes take this. Take this. It, take this. it is. It is the latter, right? It is the latter. That game was on the platter to win the game with Moster. There's no doubt about it. But I just think with him being your franchise quarterback, with there already being questions about him, you can't let him throw eight eight times in that game and take that two week beating before the Super Bowl. Of does Kyle Shanahan trust Jimmy Garoppolo? Is Jimmy Garoppolo really that guy? 200 different quarterbacks could have given Raheem Mostert the ball and thrown eight passes and won that game. You couldn't have let that narrative stand. If he's your franchise guy, you get him to 15 to 17 throws. And then the whole thing is moot. Like that's what Tennessee did. The ball 17 times because the run game was working. It's that's it. But so we'll get Oh, go ahead. Oh, my bad. Keep going. When you get them to Bob Greasy, like 70s, 60s quarterbacks of throwing numbers and passing attempts, that's when you drive unnecessary narratives and put a lot mentally on a guy who probably didn't need to take it before the biggest game of his career. Yep. Okay, real quick, let me let me do my little breakdown of this game. What I let me throw some stats at you. Okay, so I see that the, the Packers are giving up 4.7 yards per carry. Um that's a start. If you can't stop the run against the Niners, it's tough. What's that? I'm surprised it's not more. After <laughs> so they can't stop the run. Then the average opponent quarterback rating they're giving up right now is 110. So, I mean, things seem like they should be available for the 49ers on offense. Uh, the other thing, though, is I can't help but remember how well Aaron Rodgers played against the Niners before they got Nick Bosa. I mean, yeah, he really – beat him in Lambeau that time he was down in the fourth quarter there was nothing the Niners could do and I'm a- wondering if that's going to happen again because again how much of an impact can Fred Warner have in this game he's not covering Devontae Adams there's no pass rush if 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 Aaron Rodgers has time and he's not checked out and he's not afraid the way he was last year he's the best quarterback of all time he'll kill you so the Niners definitely can win but am I picking them to win I don't know I don't know about that I don't know and this- I, I guess another point kind of with that, like if Aaron Jones is coming back, they have the Packers have a good I think Williams is a really good backup and he can even fill in as a starter sometimes, but Aaron Jones is dynamic and dynamic. And if they can get like Fred Warner blocked on the second level, he he can, he's very explosive. Aaron Jones is really explosive. And hopefully they mm, figured out nah. how to do that. You're forgetting that the Niners have the the best safety in the league, Jimmy Ward. So it doesn't matter if you block Fred Fred Warner because Jimmy Ward is going to come up and make the play and save the That's day. True. Sorry, sorry. Two things. One, I just I don't think the Packers run game is going to work at all. 
I, it's the same run game as the 49ers. And guess what? The Niners have up front. Whatever you think of Kinlaw, whatever you think of Jones, whatever you think of Gibbons, whatever you think of Kerry Hyder, whatever you think of Armstead, this is probably the biggest defensive line in football. The yep. four guys that are start are all above 290 pounds. They're tough to move, and they're going to play this run game really well because they know this run game. And then you have speed and hitting with Warner and Greenlaw at the second level. That run game is not going to work for the Packers. I don't think it's going to work. 